Yeah, follow me. A lot of kids are into dinosaurs, Craziosaurus but few are as dinosaurs. into dinosaurs as nine-year-old Eli Navant. You know, you could write a book about dinosaurs. I already did. I'm working on my second. Okay. His books, which he self-publishes, are pretty impressive, but those are nothing compared to what he's setting his sights on now. One of Eli's heroes was the head curator here at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. So when it was announced a few months ago that that guy was leaving for a job at the Smithsonian, Eli's first priority was to wish him well. His second was to take his job. What did he send in exactly? Well, let me see if I can find it. Museum CEO George Sparks says along with all the resumes he got from PhDs, Here it is. there was one applicant with just a yeah. third grade education. Here's his CV. A third grader named Eli Navant. Oh, wow. Along with his handwritten three-page cover letter, he attached a letter of recommendation from his teacher. He was serious. He was, he was absolutely serious, and he's still absolutely serious. Eli says when it comes to dinosaurs, at least, he has the knowledge and the experience. You say you've been on some digs? Yeah. Most of them were in my backyard, but once I found like this, it looked like a chicken bone, but it didn't look new. It almost looked prehistoric. Prehistoric chicken bone. Yeah. Well, throw them in the oven, brown them a little bit. They look prehistoric? Yeah. <laughs> Behind every kid like Eli, hey, there are parents like John and Shailene. Since he was three, they have gone to supersaurus lengths to satisfy Eli's velociraptor sized appetite for dinosaurs. And it probably will pay off. These are the kind of people that grow up to win Nobel Prizes or find the cure for cancer. And you want to encourage that. George says he wanted to encourage that, too. Come on in. Which is why, not long ago, he actually called Eli in for an interview. So tell me about yourself. Why should we hire you? Well, because I just have a great passion for prehistoric life. Eli did really well, but he's also realistic. What if you don't get the job? Once I know lots more about dinosaurs, I'd apply for another job. So you wouldn't give up and say, I'm done? Never. But you're going to look like a real heel if you don't give him a job. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> and so Eli was recently awarded the newly created position of curator for a day. The head curator position will have to wait. We'll get back to you. Till maybe okay. fourth grade. Steve Hartman on the road in Denver. Thanks. Bye.